Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can prevent team site members from editing pages in SharePoint Online. Let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So the way this works in a modern SharePoint is that any team member of a site can easily modify the page on a SharePoint site. Uh, Microsoft is pretty liberal in terms of uh, permissions and security. So uh, what that means is that any team member of the site can easily modify the look and feel uh, of the page on the site. Uh, just to give you an example, so here is my team site. And uh, I am happen to be the owner of the site. Mary is a member of the site. All right, so obviously Mary has add, added delete privileges. And what Mary can do, she can not only uh, you know, add added delete documents uh, to the site, she can, she can also adjust the look and feel of this page that I created. Say I'm a site owner, I created a nice, beautiful page. What Mary can do, she can easily tweak the look and feel of this page. Just to demonstrate this, let me show you over here in this browser. I'm logged in as uh, Mary here. And what Mary can do is this. She can edit the page, she can uh, delete elements, she can move the elements. Uh, in other words, um, you know, totally mess up a page uh, for me. All right, here we go. Um, here we go, that's what Mary can do. Now, the, the thought process here is that uh, if uh, a team site member can modify the uh, Excel document, a Word document, why not a SharePoint page? Again, uh, this is how it is set up by default. Now, sometimes you might want to do that, but uh, in most cases, you probably don't, right? As a site owner, I really want to control the look and feel of the page. I want my team members to only upload documents, delete documents. I don't want any of them to modify the look and feel of the page. So what you can do as a site owner, you can actually prevent your team site members from edit in the pages. There are actually two ways to do it. I'll show you both uh, options. Let me come back uh, to the browser where I'm logged in, where I'm the owner uh, of the site. Uh, so there are two ways. Uh, option number one, you can prevent editing for just this page, all right? If you just care about this main page, you don't care about any other pages, uh, we can prevent um, editing just this page. Uh, option number two, you can actually prevent users from modifying any pages, right? Because uh, another thing users can do, they can create additional pages, they can create news uh, posts, which end up uh, being new pages as well. If you totally want to shut it down completely and uh, want to prevent your team set members from modifying any pages, kind of lock it down completely, then we can do that also as well. Let's start with option number one, where uh, we will just prevent our team site uh, members from modifying this page. Let me demonstrate this to you. So what you need to do is navigate to the site pages library. Site pages library is where all the pages reside. So gear icon, site contents, and under site pages right here, this is the library where all the pages reside, just like documents is the library where all the documents reside. Uh, this is where all the pages reside. Here we go. And this is our main page, the home page. Uh, so again, uh, I want to prevent team site members from modifying just this page. I don't care about other pages, just this one. What you need to do is uh, right click, manage access. And essentially what you see here is the access that is given automatically to this page. Essentially it's all inherited from the site. Uh, if you notice, right, um, all the owners of the site uh, obviously have full control. Visitors, and there are no visitors to the site, just FYI, but um, you know, visitors have read-only access. And members, this is where Mary is. Uh, by default, they have uh, edit access. All right, so what we can do, what we can do, we don't want, uh, uh, we can obviously remove the group completely, but in that case, the users will not be even to, to see the page. We don't want that. <laughs> we want to prevent editing. So what we need to do here is just, uh, you know, change it to can view from can edit. Here we go. And our team members, this is where all the team site members are, they will only have uh, access, um, they will be able to view the page, but not make any changes. So I just made this change. Uh, let's, uh, let's make sure this is the case. Let me actually log in uh, to this browser. So again, this is the browser where Mary uh, is the uh, logged in and uh, she is a team site uh, member. Let's reload the page just to make sure. Here we go. Uh, look at this, the edit button is gone. All of a sudden, the, the edit button is gone. Why? Because obviously, right now, the only thing that Mary can do on this page is just, uh, uh, you know, pretty much uh, 
enjoy it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, she will not be able to edit the pages. So obviously Mary can still uh, add added delete documents in the library. That did not change. Uh, we just prevented her from modifying this main page. And you know, obviously Mary can still create other news posts and create other pages because we did not uh, shut that down. All right, uh, but we can. We can remember that option number two. Uh, let me demonstrate this to you now. So again, back to the screen where I am logged in as the site owner. Now I want to completely shut down the ability for team site members to uh, add edit delete pages. I mean, essentially, uh, the, the only thing that team site members will be able to do is just view the pages. So again, we need to uh, navigate to the uh, gear icon site contents area. And we need to navigate into site pages. Now we're not going to be tweaking permissions just for this uh, one page. We are going to be tweaking permissions now for, uh, you know, the whole document library. Here we go. So here is the whole library. And what we need to do now is click the gear icon, library settings. We kind of need to go behind the scenes. And we, the reason we do that is because we are going to be, we are going to be uh, tweaking permissions for the whole library now. That's where the pages reside, right? So we click on permissions for this document library. Okay, perfect. And by default, it just tells us here, uh, it tells us a lot here, but by default, it tells us here, this, the, this library inherits permission from the parent. The parent is the site, all right? The parent is the site, uh, and obviously members can edit stuff inside of this library, but we want to tweak that. So what we're going to do, we're going to stop inheriting permissions. Uh, we're essentially going to break the link between the library, uh, the site pages library and the site. Here we go, we just did that. So now we have unique permissions, but we still need to fix this. We can now tweak the members, you know, permissions and change it from edit to read only. So you click the checkbox, click edit user permissions, and we are going to change it to read from edit. You see, perfect. Here we go. Let's uh, see how this works. So now, um, obviously, members can only read the pages. And if I check, double check uh, Mary's page over here, uh, let's reload the page just to make sure. Here we go. And if you notice, uh, if you notice now, uh, if Mary tries to add a page, here we go, just trying to add a page. And look at this. Um, I can no longer create a new page, all right? Essentially, it tells me the page creation has failed because you don't have the right permissions to create it, all right? The same applies if Mary tries to create a news post. Uh, remember, because a news post is essentially a new page in SharePoint. So again, same thing, Mary trying to create a new page uh, and you know create a news article, let's say. Here we go. And look at this. Um, even before I try to even post the news, it just tells me right here, page creation has failed again. You don't have the right permission, all right? So this is pretty much it, a nice technique to implement. Again, you know, maybe if it's a team site, a collaboration type of site, and everyone knows everyone, and everyone has been trained, you probably don't need to worry about it. But if you have a large team and uh, maybe a communication site or something, then, you know, with a site that is uh, facing uh, lots of users, lots of employees, it's probably a nice uh, technique to implement uh, in your environment. One last thing I wanted to mention before we end this video, my SharePoint Maven Academy. Uh, it's a place where you can enroll in a variety of SharePoint and Office 365 courses. Uh, all the courses are available on demand. So once enrolled, you can pretty much take them at your own pace. Uh, you navigate to the Academy by going to academy.sharepointmaven.com. And I will also leave the link uh, in the uh, video notes as well. Uh, but once you make it to the site, um, you can uh, access all the courses. I have two different categories for you to choose from. I have some end user courses. I have some uh, site owner courses. And I constantly record and add additional courses for you to enroll in. Uh, and again, once enrolled, you can access those courses at your own pace from the convenience uh, of your computer. So hopefully you learned something new today. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.